Welcome back. It's nice to see you again. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how Brent Rivera does his titles and captions. Let's jump into it. Before we get started, you should go down to the description below and make sure to grab the download so that you can follow along. I've got a couple free plugins so that you can recreate this effect. I'm also gonna show you how to make most of it completely from scratch in Final Cut. There's just one part that can't be done in Final Cut and needs Apple Motion or a plugin. Now this effect was requested by Nichols, so if you would like to see an effect, a title, a transition that your favorite YouTuber has done, recreated, please let me know in the comments below. I've done lots of videos on Sam Colder, Peter McKinnon, MKBHD, and more, so please let me know who you'd like to see next and I'll make sure to break down their effects. All right, let's jump into how to do it. Now this was the specific clip that Nichols requested. You can see we have a couple captions at the bottom. It starts purple and then it goes into this red sort of shaking text at the bottom there. Now the first part we're going to recreate is the text itself and this nice little glow that it has around it. The first thing we need to do is just press Control T to get a basic title and then we're going to press Option right bracket to trim the text down. Now if we come up here to our text settings, we're lucky that this is actually a font that Final Cut has. So we're just going to crank up the size and then we're going to scroll the font down to Meloriac. And you can tell that it's the right font because of this E. Even though the text is all capitalized, the E is still lowercased. So we're just going to go ahead and type pressured me, which is what the caption is in this particular video clip. We're going to scale it down and use the Y to just try and get it matched up as close as we can. The captions change size throughout the video, so the size isn't that important. You just want to get it looking close. All right, now let's drag it back up to the center. Now the next thing we want to do is get that glow. So if we scroll down on our text, we have a glow effect. So check the box and then click the show button. And then we're going to change our color to all red. Now you'll see there's no glow yet, and that's because we need both a radius and a blur. Now this is why I provided a plugin is because Final Cut for me has a hard time rendering it live, and so. You know, I think 204 and 4 are pretty good settings, but you can see even as I'm adjusting it, there's like a little flicker around the edge, and it doesn't actually look like how it's going to look in the final render once I export the video. So this gets you pretty close, and I think that actually is a pretty good representation if you want to do it without the plugin. Um, to take it to the next level, we're just going to add a drop shadow. Now, if you've used a drop shadow before, it does exactly what you think. It just adds a shadow, and we can see if we crank up the distance, that's what it is. It's just a black shadow. But if we turn it red and then come back over here and crank our blur back up, hopefully you can see where this is going. We're just going to uh, turn the distance down to put it back underneath. And now it's just a little bit extra around the outside edge. So we have two levels of glow that really sells it as this glowing text. And I think it looks really nice. Now the next thing you can see is this text actually has what I've been calling a tremble effect. That's not something that you can do in Final Cut. You need a plugin or you need Apple Motion for. Again, download that below. Once you have it downloaded and installed, just drag it onto your clip and you can see it takes effect right away. Really nice shaking effect. And you can adjust some of the parameters on it. Now one of the things to be aware of is as we're playing with the rotation and the distance and all of those things to crank up or turn down our trembling effect. The effect is applied from the center of our video. So we wanna make sure that we don't have a text offset. So let's come back over here and turn our Y back to zero. And then if we wanna get it back down to the bottom so that it has the effect we want, but is in the position we want, we just apply a transform. And there we go. We've got something that looks pretty darn close to what he's got. And honestly, I think it looks really good. Now, if you'd prefer to use the Glowtex plugin, there's a couple extra things that I've added that I noticed he does elsewhere in his videos. So if we drop the Glowtex, we can come over here to our parameters and I've added this boost. Now, occasionally in his videos, he'll make this extra glow to emphasize something and we can even animate this boost. So if we go to the beginning of the clip, add a keyframe, crank up the boost somewhere around 16 feels all right in the middle and then drag it to the end and set it back to zero, you can see that the glow sort of comes in slowly, which I think is a kind of a nice effect. Now, the next thing you can do is add a tremble, and turns out you can animate the tremble effect as well. So if we go back to the beginning of our clip and go back over here to our transforms, we can set a keyframe at the beginning of our clip, and then we jump to the middle and set another keyframe at the beginning, and then jump to the end, 
and we can set a keyframe at the end where we just turn these all the way down to zero, both the movement and the uh, rotation. I'm gonna hit the left arrow here to jump to our very first keyframe and set that to zero too. So now you can see as we play it back, the tremble comes in with the glow and then it calms back down. So if you really needed to emphasize something, you could do it that way. All right, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Your support means the world to me and it makes all the difference. If you have somebody that you'd like to see their titles, their effects, their transitions, or even something from a movie or a TV show, please let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to make that video for you. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.